Would you like to start earning $100,000 a year or more in the federal government? Let's talk about a few ways that we can make this happen. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and work through a few scenarios in three different locations. For this, we're gonna consider a few type of individuals. One, the fresh college graduate with a four-year degree. Two, a person who has a master's degree already, but no experience. And three, a person who has three to five years of experience, whether that was at an administrative job or an academic job or a military job, someone who has that experience that they're bringing to the federal government job. And for this, we will consider the 0300 job series. This is the most common job in the federal government. And I often tell people, if you do not know what you would qualify for in the government, look at the 0300 series. Even if you worked in a retail environment, if you looked at papers, spreadsheets, if you did administrative tasks, the chances are you're gonna qualify for the 0300 job series. The first location we will look at is Austin, Texas. Now, to qualify for $102,000 a year in Austin, Texas, you need to be a GS-13 Step 3. The four-year college graduate with no experience would come in likely at the GS-6 level. They could technically enter as a GS-7, but you would have to complete school with honors. So we'll just consider a GS-6 right now. So how long will it take them to reach GS-13 Step 3? Well, technically, they would be able to reach GS-13 grade in five years which would put them at 96,000 a year, but that's not quite 100,000. So then they would have to wait two more years to attain the step three. So the quickest a GS6 could reach GS13 step three would be seven years. And that would put them at the $100,000 mark. Would this be common? Not necessarily because this means the individual would have to get promoted every 12 months. So while not probable, it is possible. The best strategy for a person in this situation would be to look for a ladder position. That way they can naturally grow in their role without worrying about applying to another location. The person who graduated with a master's degree and no experience could do it quicker. In fact, with a master's degree and no experience, you typically start off at the GS9 level. This would allow them to get to GS13 step three two years quicker, meaning that they would attain a $100,000 salary in Austin, Texas in about five years. One thing you have to understand about promotion in the GS grades is that you actually skip GS8 and GS10 the majority of the time. The rest of the grades require 12 months in grade before you can advance to the next grade. Now let's look at the person that already has three to five years of experience. This individual could actually do it quicker. We see a lot of people with prior experience coming into the government at around the GS11 level. This is largely subjective, but I have found it generally true. Now, GS-11 scares a lot of people, and this is why. If you look at GS-11 and you're trying to qualify solely on education, you will see on all announcements, it'll state there, you need to have a PhD. Do you need to have a PhD? Well, if it's only off of your education, then yes, you need to have a PhD. But if you're qualifying on experience, you don't need a PhD. You don't need a master's degree. In fact, in many cases, you don't even need a bachelor degree. You just need the experience. Anyway, by coming into the government at the GS 11 level, you would only need four years before you were able to hit the $100,000 a year mark. Next location is Chicago, Illinois. Now to qualify for $104,000 a year salary in Chicago, you need to be a GS 13 step one. This means that we can get to our goal a lot quicker. Let's look at our four-year college graduate student coming in at a GS6. They would be able to reach GS13 step one in five years, and that salary would be about 96,000 a year, meaning that they would get there two years faster than the same employee in Austin, Texas. The person who graduated with a master's degree with no experience starting at a GS9 level would be able to reach the GS13 step one in just three years. Once again, searching and qualifying for those ladder position job announcements would be the best strategy here. The same individual with no college, but possessing three to five years of previous applicable experience, they would be able to reach $104,000 salary in just two years. Okay, so now finally, let's take a look at San Francisco, California. Now, to qualify for $100,000 a year salary in San Francisco, 
you only need to be a GS12 step two. This is because of the high cost of living in San Francisco. It is hard to compare Austin, Texas with San Francisco when the prices for an apartment are drastically different. The prices for groceries are drastically different. This is one of the reasons why the cost of living allowance given in San Francisco is about 42% over the standard salary. In fact, you do not need to look for a GS 13 position. You can come in as a GS 11 step eight and start making six figures. The four year college graduate with no experience can get to this level in about five years. The person with a master's degree and no experience would attain this in about three years. The individual with no college but has three to five years of experience could actually attain this level in just two years. So this is pretty much the same timeline that we saw in Chicago, but it's for a GS grade below. Keep in mind that the differences between these three cities and all the other cities change annually. Every year, a cost of living analysis is conducted to see what the percentage rate will be. But what if you don't live in one of these large cities and you do not want to move to one of these large cities? Then there's a pay chart for you named rest of us or RUS. The GS grade you would need in order to earn $100,000 a year is either a GS 12 step nine, GS 13 step three, or GS 14 step one, which would actually get you about $111,000 a year. Also, there are times where you can earn a quality step increase. This occurs when your performance is above average and the agency and your supervisor give you the option to have a quality step increase. Therefore, you do not have to wait the full 12 months. You can actually skip that and get an additional step. There are also annual performance bonuses to take into consideration. Every year, a lot of agencies award employees cash where you can see an extra one, two, three thousand dollars in your check. And if you want to know just how difficult it is to attain a federal government job, check this video out next. If you have any questions or comments, please leave that down below. If you like this video and would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.